Hello everyone. Welcome to today's section. My name is Kuo Chen Li. Today we are going to introduce you HTML tags and structures, editing tags, tables, and more. We have learned the basic structures of HTML in the previous sections. Today we are taking steps further to look at more HTML elements and how they work in details. We will extend the hello.html samples to show the elements we are going to learn in today's section. Here are today's outlines. We will start with the corresponding text elements. First, we will look at the alignment elements centered to align your test. Then we will show you how to use the common test heading elements H1 to H6 to do the proper heading. To follow along, we will check the task styling such as underlined, bold, and italic to link to the other page. We will introduce you the A, A elements and, it, and its attributes. Finally, we will show you the new line characters and the space characters in the web page to conclude the test elements. As to the image, we will show you the image elements and its attributes. We also will guide you to complete some examples to know the image elements better. The other common elements we use a lot is the table elements and its relating elements such as TR, TH, and TD. And we will show you from the scratch how to create a table using these elements and how to handle them with different attributes. To conclude today's sections, we will show you how to set the horizontal rules using HR elements to add the copyright information about your web page. And first elements we are going to look at is the center elements. You can center test and images and other visual elements with the center elements. Check out our first HTML code. The string test is wrapped by the center elements, which means inside the center sections, all the elements are supposed to align center as shown in the slide. However, in HTML 4.01, the center elements has been deprecated, which means the W3Cs are now discouraged web developers to use it formatting your web page. Instead, positionings, color, alignments are proposed, are proposed to be done in cascading style sheets, which we will talk about that in the later sections. And yet it is still good to know and use the center elements since its simplicities and intuition. HTML provides a several of heading elements to choose from, including H1 to H6 elements. 
And these elements set the test in a large bold form for headings. Check the code in the slides. We use H1 heading to wrap the test strings. As shown in the slides, you can see the difference from the previous page. Use HTML headings for headings only. Don't use headings to make text big or bold. Search engines use your headings to index the structures and contents of your web pages. Since users may skin your pages by its headings, it is important to use headings to show the document structures. H1 headings should be used as main headings, followed by H2 headings, then the less important H3 headings, and so on. The H1 headings is the largest and H6 is the smallest. For our regular document editing, we usually need to set our test bold, underlined, and italic. HTML, of, of course, also provides us this kind of format element. The elements U for underlined, B for bold, and I for italic. The example shows three different elements that take different effects for the test format. However, in HTML 4.01, the U elements is deprecated. The U element is redefined in HTML5. And it represents some test that should be different from normal test, such as misspelled words or proper nouns in Chinese. And we can use a elements to create a hyperlink with string test. The most important attributes of the A elements is the H raft attributes, which in indicates the link's destination. When used to set a bookmark, you must define an ID or name to it. So you are able to point to it in other instances. The ID must be unique and follow the rules described for the name attribute. By default, links will appear as follows in all browsers. An unvisited link is underlined and blued. A visited link is underlined and purple. An active link is underlined and red. In our examples, we create a link to the Google website by wrapping the test link to Google with an A elements and the HIF attribute specifies the Google's URL of the page the link goes to. And note that the URL of the links has three different possible values. An absolute URL 
points to another website, a relative URL points to a file within a website or an anchor URL points to an anchor within a page. We have talked about that the new line characters and space do not take effects between text and text. Browsers will always truncate spaces and new line break in HTML pages. If you write 10 spaces in your test, the browser will remove nine of them before displaying the page. To add spaces to your test, you can use the space characters entities and NBSP. In the examples, we added four more extra spaces in the line three. So when it comes to the need of new line characters, we have to use BR elements. The BR elements represents a line break. This element must be used only for line breaks that are actually part of the content. To insert an image to the web page, you can use IMG element. In the examples, we use the common IMG elements attribute SRC the source of the image. It tells the browser where to find your image file. There are two ways to specify the path of your image. The first one is the attribute path, which specifies the complete path of your image file. The second one is the relative path, which is the relative path from the current working directory. The example we use here is the relative path. We put the web page and the image file on the same folder to give the absolute path. Put the forward slash in front of your path that indicates the home directory and starts from there. Besides SRC attributes, which is necessary for an image element, some common attributes that we use are listed on the slide. SRC to tell the URL of your image, ALT, to, dis to display the alternative test in the tooltip, a tiny window of information that appears when the user moves the mouse onto the target. Height, to specify the height of the image displayed on the web page. The input value is in pixel width. To specify the width of the image displayed on the web page, the input value is in pixel border. To specify the border around the image, align. To specify the alignment of the image, the possible value could be top, bottom, middle, left, and right. H space. To specify the white space on left and right side of an image, 
V space. To specify the white space on top and button of an image. Here we look at the previous example again. Now we add some attributes values and check the effect. We set the image with the height of 50 and the width of the 350. The alignment of the image is set to the left. So we can see the image displayed on the left side of the web page. We also set the border of the image to 10 pixels. That's why we can see the black line border around the image. Note that all the attributes are optional except for the SRC attributes. Setting up the width and the height of the image makes the space for the image as it usually hangs out with text and other elements. Images are essential to any business site. They show products, they generate interest, and motivate users to dig in your website. The table text defines an HTML table. An HTML table consists of table elements and one or more TR, TH, and TD elements. The TR element defines a table row. The TH element defines a table header. And the TD element defines a table cell. A more complex HTML table may also include captions, columns, column group, and t-head, t-foot, and t-body elements. In these examples, we created a table elements in the main body. The table contains two rows which are defined by two separated TR elements. The first row is the table header. We define two table headers using TH elements, namely month and total. The second row is the data row. We use TD to define the elements with the corresponding content. Notice that in the table elements, we specify one attribute border with a value one to set the border width. By default, HTML tables do not display borders. And that's perfect for formatting the fact that you are using the table is invisible to the user if no table borders are showing. And there are still some other attributes we can use to customize our table. We will look some more in the next slide. The background specifies the URL of a background image to be used as a background for the table. All cell contents are displayed over this image. Note that if the image is smaller than the tables, it is tiled to fit the tables set to UIL and BG colored set the background colors of the table cell. 
you can override this attribute at the row and the cell level. Set to an RGB triplet color value or a predefined color name. Border. Set the border width. Set to a pixel width. If you set this attribute to zero, no border appears. And border color. Set the external border colors for the entire table. Set to an RGB triplet color value or a predefined color name. And border color dark. Set the color of the lower and right hand borders of the external border color for the current table. Set to an RGB triplet color value or a predefined color name. And border color light. Set the color of the upper and left hand borders of the external border color for the current table. Set to an RGB triplet color value or a predefined color name. And this border combined with a border color dark can create a frame that looks 3D. And cell padding sets the, sets the spacing between cell words and cell contents set to a pixel size. Cell spacing gives the distance between cells and therefore the width of the dividers between cells set to pixel values. Class is the class of the elements used for rendering. Data page size set the number of records displayed in a data bound repeated table set to a positive number. DIR gives the direction of directionally neutral text, the text that doesn't have an inherent directions in which you should read it. Possible values, LTR, left to right test or table, or RTL, right to left test or table, height, gives the height of the whole table in pixel. ID is a unique alphanumeric identifier for the tag, which you can use to refer to it in. For example, a script or a CSS. Land is the best lang language used for the tag. Language is a scripting language used for the tag. Style is an inline style indicating how to render the elements. Summaries sets accessibility information for non-visual browsers. Set to a text string providing a summary of the table. Title holds additional information as might be displayed in tooltips for the element. With Set the width of the table, set to a pixel value mm -hmm. or a percentage of the displayed area. Add a percent sign, percent 
two such values. Arranging the elements in a web page using HTML tables is a common technique in business web pages. Although there are other ways to arrange page elements, such as positioning them with CSS. And using tables is by far the easiest and often the most reliable way to position elements. And tables are not broken up if the page is resized or if the user has a smaller small screen resolution. A thing can be if you only position items with CSS. Since business sites have to function in many different types of browsers, using tables to arrange your elements is a very powerful technique. Also, CSS is sometimes interpreted differently in browsers like Firefox and IE. But tables are not. And therefore, you will often see even the professional sites of large companies using tables to arrange the items in their pages. And the HR elements is used to separate content or define a change in an HTML page. And we can use HR elements to create our copyright information. When creating a business site, it is very important to copyright each page with the copyright symbol. Copywriting a page actually means inserting a copyright notice. That means you don't have to register the page anywhere. A lot of illicit copywriting occurs on the internet because it is so easy and you have no legal resource unless your pages are copyrighted. So make sure you do the copyright name. And it takes only a moment and will make potential pirates at least pause. And this is the end of today's section. Thank you.